Hello mortgage fans, uh, well I'm coming from what was a very sunny Jersey up until a few moments ago, uh, managed to get the family away for a summer holiday so um, if anyone's been away through an airport this summer it's not really a joy but at least it's glad to be away. Um, and a week on and another gold rush for Team GB in the Olympics, um, it's funny to get a bit blasé about stuff over time but it was really interesting to watch my 8 year old literally open mouth watch Charlotte Worthington win a BMX gold. Um, I would never attempt anything like that on a bike, so uh, my hats go off to you. Um, and also as well, if I'm um, ever, ever going through a rough patch, I'm definitely gonna try and find the number for Lutalo Mohammed, uh, the Taekwondo commentator, who's just gonna tell me everything's gonna be all right and I'm gonna believe him. Uh, certainly after that Lions result, I think I might have to employ him for that purpose. But another week um, and another very busy week in the mortgage world, so sort of three headlines really. Um, first one is that mortgage rates are continuing to fall. Um, the second one is people going green, um, a lot more emphasis on uh, being more energy efficient. And thirdly, about the housing market uh, hotting up as well. And then, as always, do a little roundup on rates as well. So back to that first point then. So mortgage rates continue to fall. Um, this week, uh, platform uh, reached new lows for them. I think they're down to 0.92% from their best rates. Uh, they're the intermediary lender for the co-op. Um, they started this whole sub 1% rate game actually a few weeks back. So pretty much all the big lenders now are offering their best rates at sub 1%. Nationwide still market leading at 0.91 on their two year deals um, and 0.99 on their five year. But it sort of conjured up an image of my mind of sort of lenders having to literally limbo one another to get sort of the best rates out there because it seems there's a real fight for vanilla business. So if you've got a really straightforward situation, now's the time to get a mortgage. So if you've got a big deposit, it's nice and easy. Lenders are literally willing to rip their throats out um, to, to win the best clients. What was also pleasing last week was actually rates have sort of come down across the board. So even if you've got a smaller deposit, and particularly if your situation isn't as straightforward, rates are starting to come down far more to where we'd expect them to be. So just across the board, things are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So really is now the time to sort of cash in if you can. So second point around going green, um, it was Coots this week uh, that offered now a £2,000 off their arrangement fees if you buy a property with an A or B energy efficiency rating or within 12 months you retrofit it to a C standard or above and that's for their residential and buy to let mortgages as well. Now quite a lot of lenders have moved into this space over recent weeks, uh, sort of more months really and it is really good that lenders are starting to show that if you are sort of being more energy efficient or more green in the way you're doing things then they are being open to that. It does open the whole can of worms around standard construction and new build because that does remain a real problem because there are some really energy efficient ways of building properties and using new materials and doing things in a very different way but many banks don't actually lend on it so hopefully this is a step in the right direction to fix what is a much bigger problem so I think it's something very encouraging and something to keep an eye on. So the last major point then is around the housing market hop hotting up. Sorry, um, Zoopla released some stats to say house prices went up 5.4% in June. Um, but what was really interesting is that they believe supply is down 25% on this time last year, but yet demand is up 23%. Now you don't need to be an economist to figure out what that means. Um, I've been saying this for a long time now. Um, people thought the, the stamp duty holiday was a bit of a bubble and prices were going to go up. Um, it's really going back to that classic dynamic that we have not built enough property or more accurately we have not built enough of the right types of property for the last 30 years. Now who would have thought that would be a problem in the long term? So now markets going back to normal, people are moving, more people can borrow. That old dynamic is just going to rear its head again so I suspect that's going to be a big topic going forward. Um, that same th theme sorry, was picked up by Property Mark, which is an estate agency body, which really sort of shows what that means in practical terms. They believe that 40% of purchases went above asking price last month, and that was up from 33% in May. So again, so if good property out there, people having to fight over it. So if you're looking at moving at the minute, you know this dynamic. Um, certainly, it sort of regionalizes certain parts of the UK where you're feeling this more than others, but across the board, that classic supply and demand issue just isn't really going away anytime soon. So um, having a look at the best rates and what's going on with money markets then. So um, money markets all pretty flat last week. Um, three month sterling LIBOR was down 0 0.01 to 0.74 percent. Uh, Two-year money uh, was up uh, by 0 0.002 to 0 0.443 and five-year money was up 0 0.006 
to 0.95%, so pretty flat, not much really happening there. Been a bit of movement over recent weeks with inflation, which I've talked about uh, quite a lot. So if you look over previous weeks, um, updates and what, what inflation could mean to interest rates. Um, I touched on this already with the best rates that I've mentioned already, but nationwide still market leading at 0.91% uh, for a two year and also for a five year at 0.99 and buy to let start at 1.14 at the minute. And as ever, um, the interest rate you will be offered will be dependent upon your deposit level and your personal circumstances, but that's the starting point at the moment. Last thing then, we had a new video out this week uh, where I talked through really about how we operate as a business. Um, it's under the header of personalised uh, mortgage advice which you can find on our YouTube channel um, with that and a lot more beside as well. So hopefully you get to enjoy those videos. Have a great week. I'm off to find a surfboard and chill out for the week. Have a good week.